Occupy London is a movement which spread from the US, campaigning for financial equality and against corruption. They are recently evicted from St. Paul's on Tuesday the 28th of February. After having been there for almost half a year, they recently relocated to Finsbury Square in Moorgate. But will their new site be as successful as St. Paul's? St. Paul's was the original site of protest for the Occupy London movement, and not without good reason. Outside St. Paul's, the protesters were given large amounts of media coverage as they were outside the most important church in England. The media attention was exactly what they were aiming for, raising awareness about the problems and so forcing corrupt governments to change, effectively peer pressure on a global scale. Furthermore, some protesters will leave during the transition to Finsbury Square, as although Finsbury Square is significant, you cannot compare it to the aura around St Paul's. So after the protesters were evicted, they had little choice but to move to the next best thing, Finsbury Square, a 1.7 acre space in the middle of London just 200 metres from Moorgate, one of London's busiest stations. Considering that, the si considering that the site is just 200 metres from Moorgate, one of London's busiest stations, the site may be the best the protesters can get. Despite the fact that the square itself may not attract the same media attention as St Paul's, the cameras will follow the protesters wherever they are. All things considered, St Paul's may have been better than Finsbury Square will be for the simple reason that it is one of the UK's most visited tourist attractions and, it is, and thus it is much more known. Although Finsbury Square is significant, comparing it to St Paul's would be like comparing Gordon Ramsay's cooking to McDonald's. Pointless.